All right, guys, so first of all, let's address the elephant in the room. Yes, uh, my videos changed a lot lately. Um, one of the things is in the last few months, I would say in the last six months, my videos kind of stopped being as fun as they used to. I used to have skits. I used to do always something to change things up a little bit. And yeah, it kind of uh, stopped, right? And part of that reason is I tried to act more professional and I didn't realize that because I was who I was, uh, some people used to enjoy my videos for that reason. So 2020 is almost gone and it's time for me to start, you know, going back to some of the ways I used to do. Um, main reason why I started YouTube was because I am I was already accepted, uh, but you know, Black Plague and everything. Uh, but to study cinematography in LA, so I, I should be going back to acting more that way with the videos, you know, doing some crazy stuff every now and then. So, New Year, um, we're gonna go back to that. And now, the main reason why you guys came in here, so. If you guys notice, I pretty much dedicated this whole month to Cyberpunk 2077. Uh, some of you may think I am joined that train, right? No, trust me. The amount of money I made in Cyberpunk 2077 don't even pay for the game. So, no, it's not that. Um, it's just a game that I know a lot of people invested. Uh, time, money, you know, uh, expectations, all that stuff. So, you know, I, I wanted to give the best chance for the game. That said, um, I know if I have been making so many videos about Cyberpunk 2077, but I haven't done a review, why? Well, I feel 180 hours for a game as big as Cyberpunk 2077. Um, that's what is really necessary for you to be able to fairly do a video about the game. Uh, I know game journalists, they played a couple of days, maybe even a night of the game, and they came out with their reviews, and that's why a lot of people are changing reviews right now. Uh, some people have been playing more of the game and realizing things are or are not how they actually tried to paint it before. So, that's, that's it, guys. Uh, let's start right now. I'm your boy, Rusian. And this is BND. All right, so we're back. So just to let you guys know, in my time in the army, when we need to do uh, after action reviews, ARs, one thing I learned in sergeant school was uh, Okay, by the way, I'm saying Sergeant School because most people won't understand WLC, all right? If you guys are Americans and you guys be in the army, you know what I mean. Anyway, so let's start with the bad. Launch. Launch was horrible. Um, I didn't have as many problems. Uh, a lot of people watching the channel since I was doing the whole running on an FX 4300, they were also able to run. Um, uh, to be honest, most of the glitches I found the game, I didn't really see until deeper in the game. Uh, the beginning is pretty polished, I would say. So, launch was pretty bad in the game. And I think a lot of people kind of like, they just gave up right there. Now, another thing that was really bad for me, and that's that has to do with the replayability. You have three paths that you can choose, right? And, and that for me like blew my mind because you have a huge game that in one path you're gonna put so many hours of gameplay. What it means like it's like you have three games in one. Dude, you can't beat that. 60 bucks? I'd pay a hundred for that, right? Well, the problem is the paths, yeah, besides for a couple of lines of dialogue that change. They don't really do shit, right? I mean, come on. It, it, it just sucks, man. I, I mean, I, I wanted more. Like, I want to finish running with uh, one of them and just jump in the next one. 
and I'll just see the same goddamn thing. So it really upset me because, you know, that was a big sell for the game. It's like you have three paths and you're going to do different stuff and your life going to be different. No, your life's the same goddamn thing. Okay. It doesn't change. So kind of upset about that. It may be something that hopefully they would change on the DLC that supposedly comes comes out in a few months. But really, guys, come on. <laughs> you, you took one of the most awesome things from the game. All right. All right. All right. All right. AI. Ugh, yeah. Uh, how can I start and not be a dick about it? So one of the big sell points, right, um, that was almost saying that every NPC, every AI, like, like they just, you could just interact with them. Like, it looked like every, they had tailored every single character. I'm talking about the vendors, people on the streets. And sure, I didn't, okay, I'm not that stupid, right? I understand millions of NPCs. Would never happen. Fine. But I kind of expect a bigger amount of NPCs that you can interact and that your choices actually matter. Okay? Your choices don't matter at all. For the most part, besides failing a couple of missions, what at this point, I have like 60 some percent of all my badges completed, uh, all achievements. Uh, I finished the game in every single way and the impossible. And the story is great, but like the AI, I mean, if, if you just look at NPCs that you expect to be able to interact and you can't, you have to look at what? The cops that I swear to God, those guys, they're dumb as hell. Cops are dumb. They teleport. I, I'm not even going to get into that. Enough people already did. Traffic jams, there is an accident. And sometimes it's not even you that caused the accident, Accident, okay? And they can't move. People just, like, stop in the whole... They just stop the city. I mean, um, the young Reaper actually mentioned that. Like, GTA done way better, like, for about a decade or so. Come on, man. You uh, and and that's the biggest problem people have with the game. You're promised one thing, you know. It's like, hey man, um, there's that Ferrari you wanted, and then you realize it's a kit. It's on top of a VW. No, not a VW bus, but like it's on top of like I don't know a uh, Prius. You know? Uh, well, no, but look, it looks like a Ferrari, right? Yeah, but it's a goddamn Prius. So, yeah, man, come on. So, the AI is stupid. And honestly, some people may say that, well, dude, but you know how hard it is to program an AI. Well, dude, go ask the guys who actually created the game Aliens Isolation. They know how to do an AI, okay? You have questions, just hire one of them. Uh, dude, best AI ever. Like, people in the past had excuse, this game's years old, all right? It's like before Civilization, if you guys remember that game, well, you can't not remember, they're like the Civilization 120 or something. No, I know they're not, okay? But the point is, dude, before that, any game, like simulation game, was stupid, okay? And then they were like, whoa, look at what this guy did. Maybe we should do something that way. And, you know, games got better. Alien Isolation, great AI. Cyberpunk. Come on. Come on, dudes. You promised, okay? All right, look at that. I'm looking at my notes that are not notes. I just put bullet points because I realize when I keep reading and stuff, I look dumb as hell, okay? So I'll stop that. Bullet points, just so my PTSD mind kind of like clicks where I have to go. Besides so that, that's it. So one of, I already hit choices, look at that. That's great. Now the next one, unfinished game, man. 
So with more hours of gameplay, more people keep finding parts of the game that are not done. Now, at the same time, I'm very cautious with stating, well, besides the whole issues the game has, and it means it's unfinished. Well, now, if we talk about areas like the metro area and everything, um, uh, maybe it's not unfinished. Like, they have a DLC supposed to come out really soon. Um, that could be kind of a placeholder area, uh, just something that's going to come out in the DLC. So I'm not going to fully say that part was cut from the game. Maybe it's something that is coming out on the DLC. Now, honestly, at the same time that I'm saying that, I think this DLC is not a DLC. I think it's just the rest of the game. Okay. So yeah, that that's the issues I have with Cyberpunk 2077. Now, let's go into the good, right? Okay, so I played 180 hours. I have not finished every single mission possible. I have finished about 90 something percent of all the possible missions. So I still have hours to go. Now, sure, sometimes when I'm playing those 180 hours, you have to count that a lot of that stuff is things that I'm trying to do just to post on YouTube and everything. Um, but still, if I had played just for playing without streaming, without recording, without anything like testing, you know, I still would have to the point I'm at, I would have put at least 150 hours of gameplay. So it's not bad. Okay. Now, that said, how many games you play 150 hours of the game and you still want to go to more and play the game? Well, Cyberpunk's one of those games. So for $60, wasn't a bad buy. Um, I played, yeah, I, I bought games for half the price and I didn't even got the half of the play time. Like I played for 10 hours, 20 hours and the game was over. And I mean, 20 hour games are not bad. It's, it's, uh, you're rarely going to sit down and play 20 hours of gameplay. Okay. But that said, yeah, um, it, it you, you have a lot of content on the game and the game is actually awesome. The story, I know some people are not crazy about the story because they feel they're, they're pretty much shepherd or come on dog. Let me smoke a cigar while let's sing. When the moon hits your eyes. And by the way, it's hot as hell. I have lights on me. And no, I'm not trying to fly. Okay. All right. So where was I? I don't even know. Okay. And yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember now. So a lot of people complain because you get shepherded along by Johnny Silverhand. You... I guess I wanted to become a legend of Night City by whatever the hell I was doing. And, and sure, you always have an end game, but I, it kind of felt like the end game wasn't fully my choice. And, and I still had lots of fun. Like, I'll say good things about the game. Don't care what people think. Like, the game is awesome. It's worth playing. Um, I would have bought this game like I did um, and I wouldn't complain about the game if I wasn't promised something else. The game by itself, without all those lies, it's a great game. But because I was promised something else, it, it, it is kind of hard to fully embrace. Now... If you, if you can run the game, and I run a potato, I run an FX 4300 
with a GTX 1650 Super. Don't try to run the regular one. Super. And it runs pretty good. Okay. I run on high settings, not ultra, high settings. Um, sometimes I have to lower a little bit when I have to stream or record just because my CPU is on 100% the whole time. But the game runs and it's a lot of fun and I have hours and hours. A lot of times I go to 3 o'clock in the morning and I realize it's 2, 3 o'clock in the morning and I have to be up next day. So it is worth playing. It is worth buying. You know, um, if you guys are on console, I'm sorry. Should have bought a computer. I'm kidding. Not really. I have an Xbox One, okay? Chill. But that's the thing. Um, great game, worth buying. Um, I wish CD Projekt Red hadn't lied so much, but I do think at the same time that people need to get off their backs a little bit because understand this, CD Projekt Red's in a bad situation right now. And they'll probably be in a bad situation unless they cut their own arms and legs and give to the players what I really hope they do. I mean, I know the new DLC is going to be given to the players, but I really think it's like the rest of the game. But anyway, it's going to be given. You, supposedly, you don't have to buy. If I hear CD Projekt Red saying you're going to have to buy that DLC, I cannot say the words that I really would want to say on YouTube without not getting the money I already don't get, okay? So, that said, please, buy the game support, calm down about the game, I'm sorry if things are not run the way they're supposed to, but see, if we keep pushing away, see the Project Red, eventually, they're gonna have to close the doors, and then any DLC, any fixes, Anything you guys want for the game will be gone with them, I guarantee. So, they're all being sued. Just just chill. Let them recover. They're trying to throw a lot of updates for people. They're, they are trying to fix stuff, okay? So, just bear with me. Bear with them. And wait a little bit. All right, guys. So, that's my review. I hope you guys enjoyed. <sighs> Please subscribe, please, please subscribe, you know, for New Year, great New Year uh, gift, subscribe to the channel, leave me a comment, say if you guys prefer the way I did that uh, review, uh, give me a like or dislike, if you give a dislike, let me know why, you know, hit that notifications bell sign, and as always, I'll see you in the game.